Hey, Davey, uh, Patrick was hit with the, his first pitch, hit with the line drive. Did that affect him at all today? And I guess, over, and then after that, what did you just make of his outing overall? I know. I think uh, he was okay. We asked him, yeah, he said he felt fine. I mean, he's, it hurt. You know what I mean? He got sure. smoked with a 112 mile an hour line drive or off the, off the, off the quad. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think they did a good job in adjusting. I mean, they didn't swing at his sliders um, and his pitch count got out. You know, he threw the ball, he threw the ball good. I think at the end, he was throwing the ball well, you know, but his pitch count got so high for uh, five and a third innings, you know, it was 106 pitches. So, um, but yeah, when they don't start chasing that, that slider, uh, he gets, he starts to get deep in the counts. I mean, we, we were 0-2 to 3-2 a lot today. And, uh, you know, when you got guys like those guys over there that, 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 that could hit, I mean, that's tough. And Kyle, Kyle Finnegan has been really solid for you guys. Maybe his fast, look like his fastball command might have been a bit shaky. What you, would you see from him once he comes in and then also on the Freeman homer? Yeah, I just, you know, once again, he got, he got ahead on Freeman, you know, one, two, and he was trying to go away and just the ball stayed down, down the middle. I mean, just bad location right there, but he's been throwing the ball well. I mean, he really has. I, mean, I told him, I said, hey, keep your head up. I mean, you know, you, you, you got one, two. I mean, that's, you really got to focus on, on making that next pitch. I mean, um, when you throw a ball like that, you know, to, to a hitter like that, it's going to get hit hard. You know, so just, it's just a learning process for your, your, your young pitcher. So, um, but he's been doing really well. Thank you. Alex Chapel, Madison TV. Hey, Davey, just going back to Corbin for a minute, it was a 115 mile per hour comebacker. What can you say just about his toughness to battle through that this afternoon? Yeah, I apologize. I thought it was 112 when I saw it. Um, no, yeah, 160. I mean, I would have flopped like a fish, I think, if I got hit. Um, but he was, and he, we went out there, checked on him. You know, he said it, he always said it was, that hurt, he said, but I'm, I'm fine, you know? So he didn't say anything else about it, you know, the rest of the game and went out there and did his thing. And then how's Luis Garcia doing? We saw him leave the game there after um, kind of moving gingerly to first base. Yeah, he got a, uh, I guess he's got a bruise on the bottom of his uh, heel and it was really bothering him today. So, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure um, he got checked out, you know, I didn't want to push it and, uh, so he got checked out. They, they ruled it just a bruise. So he'll be day to day. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. Just Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davey, you had some big wins in this series. And then the Braves also had some big wins in this series. So how would you assess this uh, four game weekend as a whole? Yeah, you know, we, we came out and played. Um, the guys, as you can see, towards the end of the game today, they didn't, get, you know, they don't quit. We scored, you know, we scored some runs. You know, we just we were behind too much, but um, we just got to keep playing baseball. You know, tomorrow we get a uh, Tampa coming in town, so uh, we'll bang hands with Tampa tomorrow and go one and zero tomorrow. But um, I'm pleased, you know. I mean, the, these games are, you know, we were one or two pitches away from, you know, keeping the game close. Um, we didn't we didn't swing the bats fairly well early in the game. Uh, the bats came alive later in the game, but. Um, let's just keep playing baseball. Yeah, that's what I tell them. Keep playing baseball. Also, with Robles hitting leadoff, what were your impressions of that? And is that something that we could, not trying to say give us your game plan, but is that something that maybe we could see stick around in the future? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, we, 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 we're trying some different things out. I mean, you know, he seems comfortable up there. Like I said, we looked at, you know, I looked at some of his numbers from the minor leagues, minor leagues, not that it means – a whole lot, but I mean, he did do well down there, you know, leading off. So, um, you know, we'll see. I mean, it could be something where I lead him off during, uh, against left handed pitching and, uh, and lead off Eden during, you know, against right handed pitching. So you, might, you might see that. So, um, but I, you know, I, I kind of like him. He looks comfortable up there, you know, when he gets on, he definitely makes things happen. So, um, but you know, he's swinging the bat better. Uh, you know, he, he, you saw today, he, he squared around the bunt. That was a ball, but you know, those, those, are, those are the kind of things that he needs to do. Byron Kerr, MassSports.com. Hey, Davey, during the Thames at bat appear to be some questionable strike calls from Wendelstedt, and then they stopped the game and they pointed up in the stands. Did you get any explanation of, of what happened on that play? No, um, somebody screamed. Uh, did not, you know, I, I honestly, I never, didn't even hear it. Um, they stopped the game, Joe West went over. But, you know, the, uh, I know MLB, 
is going to take a look at what happened. I, you know, I don't know the details of anything. Just um, so the game didn't really they stopped for a little bit, but you know, we, we resumed play right away. So the umpires didn't didn't give you an explanation after the game or, or during the game. No, nothing. Um, I talked to Hunter briefly, and he just said, "Hey, you know, we, we want to see you know what we can do about you know getting getting certain guy out and." Um, Basically, I haven't heard from MLB about anything. Thank you. Okay. And Jesse Docherty, Washington Post. Hey, Dave, I know this is your uh, favorite topic, your contract, um, but we talked to Riz earlier, and he mentioned wanting to go beyond the option, uh, maybe just you know uh, negotiate a long-term deal uh, without the option. And, and I, I wanted to know if that's something he's expressed to you and also what that means to you that he has the kind of confidence to say he wants you here even beyond next season. Yeah, you know, he, he did mention something to me um, last night. Uh, and I told him, I said, you know, obviously I love it here. Um, I love working with Riz. Uh, being part of this organization means a lot to me and my family. So, yeah, I mean, if we can get something done, it would be awesome. Uh, I want to be here. Uh, I think we have a bright future here, uh, especially with our, some of our young players and some of the, some of the starting pitching we got and the players we got right now. So um, I'm excited about it. And, uh, you know, we got a long, long way to go this year. So, you know, as always, <laughs> I try to focus on tomorrow. And then sure. if something happens, um, uh, you know, I'll be really excited about it. Thank you. All right. And we'll finish with Jess Camerato at OB.com. Uh, this is going to be a very broad question, and there's no real, like, one, one specific answer to it. How can the pitchers limit home runs moving forward, just on account that it seemed like the Braves were just having a, a derby at some points this weekend? Yeah, you know, it's just it's all about one. It's all about um, making pitches. You know, making pitches when it counts. You know, and and uh, you know we've left a lot of balls, in, you know, in the middle of the strike zone. And when I go back and watch <clears throat> games, we don't we're not finishing you know, finishing our pitchers, especially when we're ahead. Um, and the other thing is too. We got to do a better job, I think, of pitching in. You know, I think I think we're like 27th or 28th overall of pitching in, which is which is not good. You know, so I'm, I've said this before. We got to get we got to move guys' feet. Uh, you know, because you want you know you, you want to have have the outside of plate. You don't want hitters to cover the outside of plate. Um, when you don't move the, move anybody's feet, you know, guys could stay in there. You know, I'm not. And this is not. This is just part of baseball. And you got both two sides of the plate. You got to use them both. You, know, you got to utilize both sides of the plate. So I, th I really feel like we got to do a better job of, of pitching in. Um, you know, Corbin threw a couple balls in today and froze hitters, and I, and I think that's awesome. You know, so we, we got to, we, as a whole, we really got to start focusing uh, on throwing throwing more balls inside, and, uh, and and so this way you can have part of an outside plate to, to deal with. Is that good? Is that good yeah. for you? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Davey. Uh, hey, Todd. Showing off your muscles over there. I don't know if you can see him, but you got, you got these guns out today. <laughs>